Hey there, Heather, hello there, it's Jeff Turner Diamond, welcome you to another tournament. It's Sawgrass, the 40s, 80s, the finals are underway. It's Carrie Metalcoff, it's Curtis Strange. One of these legends will be going to Augusta for the second time because they both have won a tournament previously. They'll be going in second place, will probably have to go to a second chance qualifier unless he wins another match tournament. Remember, there's still nine months left to win a title. So, anyway, we will look at the bracket. How they got here. How did Melikov get here? Well, his first round match was against Gary Hallberg, who he crushed on the back nine. Then he got faced Fit Gussie, who ha he had to win 17 and 18 deaths to force the tie break, and he won on the first extra hole. Then he took on Chip Beck, and needless to say, Beck fought, but Melikov fought harder. And then in this round, Sweet 16, he faced Don Fairfield. Fairfield had to win two of the last three holes to force the playoff, and it took four extra holes before Milkoff cut cheap. And then in the quarters, he took on Marty Fergo, decent front nine, then a back nine, he looked good. And then the semifinals against Ben Hogan. Hogan fought battle, fought gamely, but Milkoff had Hogan beat and dead to rights, so Milkoff won that, so that's how he went. Curtis Strange, how did he get here? Well, he is he bottom holes. Oh, there he is. Curtis Strange. His first match was against Jay Haas, using the back nine to his advantage. Curtis Strange beat Jim Thorpe in the round of sixty-four. Not that Jim Thorpe. I think he's back nine. He looks good. In the round 32 against Fred Hawkins. He used the back nine to his advantage against Hawkins. Well, he only conceded one hole, but he still won. And then in the Sweet 16 against Chick Harbert, the back nine was kind of close. Curtis unofficially had a 63 the whole round, but that's not how you do it. Porter finals, he beat Shelly Mayfield. It was a tight match. Curtis Strange beat Jimmy Hines 4 and 2 in the semifinals using the back nine to his advantage, not conceding a hole. So these two guys have really been good on the back nines. So we have a normal course, normal green, standard rough, calm wins. So who will be the first March champion in the ASG tours? Metacalf on left. Strange. Right there, left center. Yeah. Three. Up and over, yay, Curtis, off the green. Curtis Strange, <laughs> why not? Birdie, ooh. Can Middlecoff do it? No, he can't. The car will get it. Ooh, we caught him. One, two, three, four, five. Middle cost, we have to the right in the corner. Three seven two, thank you. Strange. Right in the center. We will get two nine seven. Second shot and a little bit to the left. Middle cost. Go strange. Okay, that looks good, okay. Off. Yeah. The birdie. Well, the birdie. I. Strange, easy hole. Yes, the first green puts up the first win. On to three. Over the bunker and onto the green is the first break. Middle cough. Pitch and let it pop as close to the green. Well, can Strange win the hole? Oh, oh, yeah. the the first green starts off great. On to four. Second shot, you gotta go over the water. This is done. You win, you get the first three in the center. And let it pop. Great center. Up and over. Oh, yeah. Too much. 
off. Hopefully the wind stays in. And strange. Let's pitch it and it's close. For the hole. There's the imposters as well as he's got one back. On to five. We'll call for a moment. Sometimes he's throw the ball through 17. Yeah, through 16. Three nice range. Good job. And three is a perfect. Beautiful. Carry metal card. Goes back. Three goes to, to tie the hole. Hey, so tie. Two to one with two high numbers, right? Yeah. Okay, so Dunn, he'll have a good shot and save him a three. 99 yards. And it comes, but the good ball ain't one. Up and. Middle call. For Brady. And two ties. Uh, out, wow, that was a terrible shot. Uh, and so was Strange. What happened? Like, there's no wind. No doubt, it's not too pleased with this person who was on the summit. Who blame, who's the blame book? But the good news for Strange is that he didn't hit the water, so he has an extra hole, an extra stroke. He'll be close to the pin. He'll need Metalkoff not to make his par. What did he just see? It's a double one. Strange's face is like, what the fuck? Well, now there's going to be a little bit of wind. On to eight. It's not that bad. Why are you playing that sound effect? Carry Metalkoff on eight. Not even close to the pin. Strange. He also fucked that up. Strange will have to go up and over. Curve. Okay. Metal cough. The park. Yes, so One out of four chance. Strange. Can't do it. So Metal cough has come back from two down and now has taken the lead. On to nine. Split further away. Looks like the. Country of Argentina now. Set a shot for Strange. And middle cough. Okay, middle cough. Back about it. Up and three. Better. Middle cough. Is he close? I think so. I think middle cough has the chance to go two up. So Metalkoff has roared back to take a two up lead on Strange. Strange had one on two and three and it looked good. And then Metalkoff has won four, six, eight, and nine with five and seven tied. So Kerry Metalkoff is two up. He has a chance to win. Now there is a drawback a little bit. Because whoever wins this matchup, alongside Kerry Cook and Bobby Lock, will not be able to compete in the April tournament in the part threes. As I said, that match play? Oh, beautiful by Pretty Strange. Is that they want to give people a better chance. Another chance. Middle cough? Ooh, what the fuck, middle cough? That's not like you at all. You're being so hot. For part. Well, it's a two putt opportunity for Creedy. But he just needs one. The wind's hit a um, different direction. So middle cough is now one up. Through ten. The wind makes it go to the left side on this part five. Gets up the thing there. And okay. People didn't clap because they thought Metalkoff was going to go wide. Second shot. Over the water. Wow. Big brutal. Metalkoff. Let's get past the water. Yes, he does. And he's on the green for a decent, decent percent. 
Peter Strange is just beside himself. He has a tough par putt. So it's a three putt for middle clock. 14 feet. Now let's do it in two. So middle clock knows he had three chances to win that hole. He just needed two. Middle clock to the right side. Oh, oh, right in the middle. Right on that ledge. It's not good when you're up by two with seven to play. And Strange is a little bit on the edge too. Seven shots. Strange goes first. Is that on the green? Yes. Middle cough. Curl, curl, curl. For birdie. Whoa. He missed. Now Strange has a chance to cut the deficit. Yes, he does. So Strange is now one down. Let's get the blame. Strange to win the hole. He couldn't do it. But he's gonna do this for the half. Oh, he couldn't even half the hole. So Milikov is now back up to two. The lead is back to two for Milikov. So what a mistake by Strange. Well, I mean, Milikov's making that 27 foot par putt. It's good though. It's good though, Bob. Good shots. Strange, will he hit the bunker? Yep. Middle cough. He doesn't hit the bunker. That's actually good. Strange, can he get close? Nice say yes. Middle cough. Slowing down, mama. Slowing down, mama. Go far. Strange. Ay, how did he miss that one? Make a mistake. Middlecoff wins the hole, and now it's almost all the sure. If Middlecoff wins here on 15, it's over. Strange wins on 15, so keep going. A half hole does not help Curtis out. Because it would give the lead to help the position kick. Strange, is he on the green? I think he is. Come on, he's on the green. Middlecoff? Well, he's on the green for sure. He's might as well putt. It's from 10 feet. How did he miss? For the match. Hey, set, match, middle claw. He crushed Curtis Strange into fine powder. And Kerry Middlecoff will be going to Augusta for the second consecutive year, sending Curtis Strange out of there. A big win for Curry Middlecoff. Going through all that. He had a couple of playoffs, but he did it. See, the back nine worked out. 13, 14, 15, he won it. Curtis Strange just couldn't do anything. So Kerry Middlecoff is your March champion. Now, the good news for Strange is that he'll have another chance next month with the part three, the part three course, like the famous part threes. That's a match play scenario. Middlecoff will not be competing alongside Locke and Cook. So Middlecoff, well, yeah, Middlecoff thinks that's it for the for the year. No, that's not it for the year, Middlecoff. It's just for the match plays for April, and then there won't be a match play till December. So it's either going to be a major that's in top forty for the weekend, or the a normal top seventy plus ties. So Middlecoff can compete in a few months, but he won't be competing match play because they want to make it a lot easier. So. So a big win for Middlecoff here. So we are going to do another match play. We are going to make it 40s, 80s, par 3, MP, April 23 at the par 3. Is it P for par 3? Par 3 challenge, that's it. Okay, so 128 guys, no seeding. And we should be able to get 128 guys here. All right, so no middle cough. 
no cook, and no lock. Lock will be easy to dictate because he's South African. He's got the South African flag. Oh, there he is. And Gary Cook. Make sure that cook is not on the list. There we go. All right, so that's 128 guys. Okay, so Lawson Little is is in. Don Wick is out. Uh, Fuzzy Seller in for Harvey Ward. Might give Weeby a chance, but Fuzzy Seller should be in. Um, Jay Haas for Sarhar, for Buck White. White out Jay Haas. We'll get a chance. Dick Metz for Jim Simons. Keep on dog. And Osaki san should be in for Harry Todd out. Osaki san should get a chance. And yeah, we'll just make it that. We'll just make it. Those guys coming in. This should be 100, 125. Hmm. Those guys should come in. Oh yeah, the, for those three guys. So I guess it will be um, Tim, 125. So Tim Simpson, Jeff McSpaden, and Herman Barron will get the last spot, I guess. All right, so save for 128 golfers. 48 squares three. Duh, 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 duh. Okay, for groups, we got to make sure that the three, those three runner up guys from a while ago. Okay, so Hawkins is in group number... Hawkins is in matchup 26, so he's up against Dick Metz. Okay, so there's Hawkins. Uh, Crenshaw. Crenshaw's in number 58, so Crenshaw will be one of the late ones against Ski Regal. One six fifty eight and Curtis Strange. What number is he on the list? Strange is number fifty seven. I am going to make a change. Curtis Strange up for um, trip back. So I'm going to move Strange to the match against Brinker. Give Strange a better matchup. So Strange will be moved up to face Brinker. No Canadians are here. And that's going to put Chip Beck versus Flory Von Dong. So, okay, so I got the three matchups I want to do for day one. Hopefully no issues with my work and all that. So that we can get this and nip it in the bud, if you will. That's the part three challenge. That will be in April. So, yeah. We'll see what happens there, but you never know. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond. I do.